Why is he propped up? He's not even that smart. He can't make basic arguments. He's propped up because he promotes a cultural warfare ideology, a toxic ideology. It's a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory. I did my grad work on this. I know what the philosophy of the British Empire and its elite are. As you know, there's a, there's a problem with American education that some nutcases are trying to introduce creationism into American schools. So, to have a doctrine of creation is nutcase, but to have a degenerate, materialist, atheist philosophy, which is totally irrational and superstitious based, because things just out of nothing, that's rational. So notice that the rational for him is just whatever his position is and whatever the majority of science says. I mean, why are we supposed to follow the majority? And who even knows what the majority... I mean, so it's, do you see how it's question begging? By the way, the more I think about this, isn't it obvious that all of this stuff from this, from this crowd, they're all out of the Royal Society. They're all working with that establishment, which gave us this horrendous ideology of Darwinism to begin with as a propaganda tool of the British Empire. And their whole ethos is a satanic, Anglo-destructive philosophy. And they promote it to the whole world. And it's completely destructive. And the real power behind this ideology is people like the royals. Why do I say that? Because the Darwinian ethos is wrapped up with social Darwinism. And it's wrapped up with Malthusianism, and these totally go together. They arise out of the exact same establishment. Anglican minister Thomas Malthus, together with the other evolutionary proponents who wanted to depopulate the world massively, the same ideology of that British elite, which he represents. He is a goon, a mouth of those people. Do you not see this? Do people not? Is this not obvious? Why is he propped up? He's not even that smart. He can't make basic arguments. He's propped up because he promotes a cultural warfare ideology, a toxic ideology. It's a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory. I did my grad work on this. I know what the philosophy of the British Empire and its elite are. And he represents, he's a mouthpiece of the, he's the mouth of Sauron. And it's just so hilarious to me. It's not, it's sad, actually. People think that that's what science is. It's a totally wicked, destructive, elite ideology by a bunch of inbred, demonic people. I mean, Prince Andrew, Epstein, that's the real power behind who gives you the ideology that he spouts. And if you don't think the world operates on the basis of elite power, you are severely naive and severely slow boy. And just move on. Go somewhere else, man. Because you're not going to get it. If you don't get it by this point, now that Klaus is out there as an arm of these same people, literally to your face telling you this, there's no hope for you. Move on. Just go live your life because you're not going to get anywhere. You're done. You're not going to wake up. There's no hope for you. If you can't get this and it's in your face, there's books about the Royal Society, how they promoted to the whole world this totally demonic ideology. You see the devastation all around you of this ideology. It's completely destructive and anti-human, anti-natalism. They admit their philosophy, their worldview is anti-human, anti-natalism. They want everyone dead. These people are possessed. They're evil. Jay Dyer's Jason Allison.